You're listening to Winnipeg's Classic 107. My name is Simon Rusnak. Virtuosi Concerts Young Artist Program is turning a new leaf. Roots and Branches pairs established professional mentors with up-and-coming student artists in a brand new side-by-side mentorship and performance initiative. Clarinetist Juan Gu Cho and pianist Annika Warkentine are the first young artists featured in this weekend's concert, and they've both joined me now in the Classic 107 studio. Good morning to you both. Good morning, morning. Simon. Well, what a pleasure it is to have you here, and congrats on being a virtuosi young artist. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I guess I should say congrats again, uh, Annika. (laughs) As we last spoke uh, last year ahead of the last concert in the 2021-22 season when you opened for the uh, Christina Bowie Pierre-André Doucette duo, that was just before you graduated from the Des Hotel Faculty of Music at the U of M. Yes. It was several weeks before convocation. So catch us up a little bit. What have have you been up to since? Sure. So um, it's been a really fun year so far. I began my post back in collaborative piano studies um, at the U of M with uh, Judy Kaler Siebert and Dr. Judy Kaler Siebert and Dr. Laura Lowen. Um, And so it's been a busy year uh, studying collaborative piano and working with a variety of instrumentalists and singers. Uh, I also had the opportunity to play for the Community Celebration Concert with the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra in October, which was very fun. And then I had the chance to perform um, the entire Greek concerto with the University of Manitoba Symphony Orchestra in December. Um, And now looking forward to a recital at the end of this year and playing for more friends and also master's auditions. Yeah, semester. so it sounds like you're not busy at all is basically <laughs> <laughs> basically what we're getting Lots at here. Lots of music. <laughs> yeah, hey, I mean, look, it's a great way to be and, and congrats on all of your recent successes. Um, Juan, I, I know you're a student at uh, Brandon. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about where you're at in, in your studies. Uh, I studied music in Brandon University under Dr. Catherine Wood. I play clarinet. Uh, um, yeah, I graduate my school uh, last May, and uh, I'm now preparing for my doctoral audition. And also, I'm trying to expand my musical area in the Winnipeg or other province. And yeah. So you're uh, looking towards uh, doctoral studies. Um, what's that process been <laughs> like for you in terms of preparation? Yeah. So my musical goal want to be a like a professor or like a musician. So, so. Yeah, doctoral degree is kind of optional, but nowadays it's most mandatory. So well, that's yeah. good to hear. Um, so I guess the big question here, heading into this concert, is um, ha- had the two of you met before this initiative or, or made music together? Or is this totally brand new? No, it's our no. first time. And mm-hmm. what's that experience <laughs> been like? Um, yeah, it was really good experience. As, uh, always meeting the new musician it made me be pleasure, and. Uh, and the Manica plays really good, and uh, and uh, we also play with professional musicians, yeah. and that gave me a lot of impressions. Also, um, I learned many things from them, and uh, we made a new harmony. So I'm so excited to play with them. Yeah, really special mm-hmm. opportunity indeed. Annika, w- w- what's it been like for you? Well, it's been so fun just getting to meet new people. I had um, previously met a few people that we've been playing with but never never played with them before or had extended conversations with any of the performers that will be that you'll hear on the Sunday concert um, but I think it's just always so neat how music can connect people so fast um, and so it almost you know it kind of feels like you know have known somebody for longer when you're committed to the same music and invested in exploring it together and so for me it's been very very fun just kind of the fast-paced um environment that it's been where you just you have to be on the same team of course right from the get-go and it's just yeah really fun to feel united that way Mm -hmm. through the music you know chamber music um i feel like is one of those that makes you fast friends right i mean it's one of those lines where it is music made amongst friends it's a a conversation a dialogue in music between the instruments Um, but but this is uh, i think a really cool initiative that um the young artist program has taken as part of virtuosi concerts because not only are you new friends but you're working with new mentors collaborators in this concert because you really are collaborators a very different sort of experience, I would imagine, than a a student recital opportunity where you're working with professional chamber players like Caitlin Brahms Jacobs on the oboe, uh, flute player Layla Roberts, Mina Rose Chung on the cello, and and Madeline Hildebrand. So let's talk about that, Annika. Does it feel like um, a real collaborative element? Like, can you speak more to that aspect of of this Mm -hmm. concert? Yeah, it definitely feels very, very collaborative in the very true sense of what chamber music means, which is 
you know, equal equal conversation where everybody gets, you know, um, plays a different role but has an equal part um, within the music making process. It, it very much feels like that both in the rehearsal process and in the music itself. Um, the music itself is very, very fun and kind of equally balanced amongst the parts. Like everybody has their own challenges and brings their own unique kind of spin. There's no one instrument that's completely shining above any of the other instruments. And I'm kind of thinking particularly of the saisons, which um, we were both playing on, which is a very virtuosic, almost concerto for every instrument. So yeah. it's for piano, oboe, flute, and clarinet. And so there's very equal virtuosic elements amongst um, all the parts. So within the music, it, it feels very collaborative in the way that the music's been composed by the composer, but then also um, the way that um, we've been interacting in re the rehearsal process between the pre-professional musicians, which yeah. is us, and then <laughs> the established musicians that we're, we have the privilege of working with. It's very much like, um, yeah, helping each other out and sharing ideas. And I've been surprised at the amount of opportunity that we've both had to kind of speak into the music and you know, maybe suggest taking something at a slower tempo yeah. or, hey, can I have more time here? Or, oh, this sounds, you know, like what we want to happen. And so that, yeah, kind of freedom that we have to, to speak is is you, very cool. So collaborative in the rehearsal process and in the music itself, I think. Um, you mentioned that that Saint uh, the Caprice, uh, the Caprice on, on Russian and Danish airs over 79. Great great piece of music and like you say a showpiece for all of the instruments involved that that has me wondering about the, the program itself because it's a very uh, diverse program in addition to the Saint-Saëns there's also a three B's Brahms Brook and Beach and then also music of Bohuslav Martinu and Coleman and Manitoba's own Karen Sunabaka um, Juan how did you guys decide on the program did everyone bring something else was this assigned to you did you get a rep list how, how did that work uh, the Virgil concert asked us so what is what you want to play mm -hmm. we make a wish list Mm -hmm. on the, our application. But yeah, they decide the pieces, but they sent me the, the piece names. What do you think about it? And I said, yeah, that's perfect. And uh, yeah, so we sent, we gave the wish list and they decided. Uh, was there one that you were particularly excited to see on the program? Yeah, I put many the chamber pieces yeah. on my wish list. <laughs> A long list, yeah. yeah. But they, they gave me the, the Brahms Clarinet Trio. Oh, so, so good. yeah, it was one of my wish lists. I'm really happy to play that one. And Annika, what about you? Uh, what was on your wish list for this concert? You know what? None of the wish list selections that I had, had put on the original list um, made it onto the program, but um, I wasn't disappointed because yeah. I'm, I was really excited about the, the three pieces that um, I was playing on anyways. So, um, yeah, I think there, I think I may have put possibly something by Beach on my wish mm, list. So I'm, good. I'm not quite sure, but we we are playing a piece that's underrated and not very um, frequently recorded by Amy Beach, which is the Pastoral and Caprice, or it's nicknamed the Water Sprites. Um, so that's one, one piece that I'm very excited to play just because I love Amy Beach as a composer. Mm -hmm. um, I have worked on some solo piano things by Amy Beach, but never chamber, and so it feels very different to play you know, her chamber music compared to, to solo piano. And I'm, it's always fun playing female composers too. So not, I was particularly excited about that because I hadn't heard of it before. Not to add to your list, but she's also got a great piano concerto um, if, you're, yes. if you're looking for it. So uh, add, add it to your list of mm -hmm. uh, to be performed. Uh, this, of course, a, a chamber music recital, a very special one, virtuosi returning to uh, Eckhart Gramate Hall. And um, I, I, I just want to wrap up this interview with a little bit of music. Actually, this uh, from, from your wish list there, Juan. I've got some um, uh, music of, of Brahms queued up. But just before saying uh, or pressing play, uh, let me say that the concert takes place this Sunday, January 15th, 3 p.m., back at Eckhart Gramate Hall. That's at the University of Winnipeg. Regular price tickets are $47.50, but students, uh, get this, pay what you can. Uh, what a deal. Have you told your friends about this? Like, I have. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, like, I, if I would be all over this if I were a student. <laughs> it is a pay what you can. Um, wonderful performance uh, to, to take in. And, of course, uh, very excited for the two of you to be a part of this. Roots and Branches on Sunday. And uh, I've got a couple pairs of tickets to give away. The number to call 204-336-1071 when the Brahms goes to air. Uh, Juan, Annika, thanks for joining me this morning. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.